Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice, Print, Roleplay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share files wirelessly to your Apex Maker X1. Alright, let's get to it. First, in order to follow the steps in this video, you'll need a USB Wi-Fi adapter that's compatible with the X1. If you don't already have one, check out the description below. I'll have links to different adapters that have been tested and known to work on the X1. And then once you have the Wi-Fi adapter, take it over to your X1 and put it in the second USB port and not the first. Then go ahead and turn on your printer and we're going to go to the third icon on the left. From here we're going to go to Network Settings, then we're going to click on the Info icon, and then we're going to click on whichever network you want to connect to. Go ahead and hit the Connect icon and enter in your Wi-Fi password. And you'll know that it's successful once you see the Connected icon come up. From here we're just going to hit the back arrow and then make sure you take a picture or write down this IP address. You'll need this for connecting to your printer. And then hit the back arrow again. Now we're going to go into file sharing and here's where we're going to learn the username and the password that we need to connect to our printer. If these are still stock from the factory, I would go ahead and change those because they are generic and therefore not very secure. And then once the printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network, you can open up any folder or go to the file explorer. We're going to go to this search bar here and we're going to type in backslash backslash and then the IP address for your printer and then hit enter or use the arrow right here. Next, it's going to ask you for your username and your password. And with that, you should now be logged into the internal storage of your X1. Just as a test, I'm going to throw on this file that I sliced a few minutes ago, and then we'll check the printer to make sure that it copied over. So now if I go to the top icon on the left, then go to built-in storage and scroll down to the bottom, there's the file that we sent over Wi-Fi. And that's it. You should now be able to share files to the X1 over Wi-Fi. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments down below, or you can join my Facebook group. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to support my channel, consider joining my Patreon. And that gives me the perfect segue to say thank you to my newest supporter on Patreon. Thank you so much for joining, Ian. I really appreciate it. Your support does so many great things for the channel and gives me a lot of opportunities that I definitely would not have had. Alright, now let's go print something. <laughs> 